Hello, Ruby. Hello. It's the afternoon action. Emma, so you're a teacher by trade? I am, yes. Do any of your kids know you're on telly? Uh, they do, they do actually. Are they yeah. I don't know if they're watching. But, Hello, everybody. Uh, but at the last competition, the the competition in Poland, they watched me compete, oh, which is really nice. I've got an incredibly supportive school that I work at. So, Miss Grivener, we're going into the year, next round. <laughs> no, <I don't. laughs> no. What have we got next? Let's have a look. Uh, Let's flick next the page. Up. Two way dynamic. We have for the uh, battles, isn't it? Positions. Nine to Nine twenty. Nine to twenty. So, do we have uh, the up-to-date scores for that? Let's have a look. Let me uh, flick through. Uh, this is going to be another speed round. We finished the day yesterday with a free round. Some incredible free routines. The Windor women was one that particularly stood out for me uh, with Dummy and Catty, and they had some beautiful moves. The music, uh, the execution. It was very emotional for me. I found it very beautiful. Well, the, the, uh, ra the rankings here that I've got, uh, Emma, uh, 10th place Window Kids, 9, Gravity, 8, Window Rocket, 7, V Beach Boys, 6, Window Women, 5th Team Window Bonner, 4th Dynawalls, 3rd Oman Fred, 2nd Hurricane Factory, and at the top, as you would expect, Window, Window Flash, Flash Warriors. Warriors. Although we had that very close battle yesterday where it Window was Flash Warriors I think the last time we looked at the scores before the free round, uh, Hurricane Factory were top. With 55 seconds, that uh, And amazing. they had an incredible speed round. And as we saw yesterday, everything can change in these speed rounds. Yes. Do we, I think we have some graphics, don't we, of what the battles are going to be like. Yes, we do. We've got, some, uh, we've got some little booklets which are going to show what the format of the battles is. I think the, uh, I think the uh, production have some graphics to show how the battles are going to go. If we can get them on screen, we'll let you know. We'll check on Good. that. They're probably panicking now, like, where's the graphics? Where's the graphics? Why did you say that, Regan? Why did you say we've got the graphics? We don't even know where they are. What files it under? We don't know. They'll find it. We'll, we'll come they back will to find it. it. We trust them. We trust Window. At least now they're thinking about it. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So we've got a good day ahead, a full yes, day we ahead. Have. I just want to work while we're just waiting. I just want to check on the four way scores to see if we've got the result yet of that. If it starts, obviously, start oh, commentating. I can hear the tunnel starting up. I can see airspace dynamite. But well, we don't have the uh, four-way open result yet. Wouldn't expect to either. It's, uh, it takes a little bit longer to judge and get through all that. But we'll give you those results as soon as we have them. So Airspace Dynamite are in the chamber. They're ready to start going. Uh, just, I think they're just waiting for the OK from the tunnel. Now, Airspace Dynamite are currently in 17th yes. position, which is at the bottom of the table. Now, they had a bit of a disaster yesterday in one of their rounds. Uh, they got lost in a speed round, which I think was will have been quite upsetting for them and quite frustrating. It was hard to watch, wasn't it? It is one of those things that does happen yeah. uh, in in competitions, unfortunately. Uh, but the girls, ever smiley, ever positive. I love watching these girls, and they're in the tunnel. There, why you started doing it? They were your inspiration, weren't they? They were my inspiration. Yeah. I love watching them. Right, so back on the speed, I'm going to try and get the notes for you of the uh, solo speed of the rankings of the uh, scores we're looking for, Emma. The actual who's next, let's find out that. Here we go, let's get that in front of us. Looking good. Here we go, Airspace Dynamite. And starting their next page. Oh, oh, oh and they've got a bust. Head up in face snake. Into a classic. Both making sure they turn the same way. Into mixed circles. I think the girls are having a little bit of a wobble. They've got one bus, but still flying really strong. I love watching these girls fly. One eleven on the clock, here it comes. We're not going to see anybody, well, are we going to see anybody less than a minute on this, do you think, Ray, on this, on this, uh, uh, Emma, sorry. They are getting out of the door. One twenty-eight. they had one burst, which is a five second penalty. I can give you the standings on the um, solo speed if you want. That would be good. Uh, fifth place, Katy in fourth place, Omar, third, Jamie Arnold, second, Cesar, still at the top, Kira Paul, after that next round, one, two, three, four, five rounds, 144 is her score. 144 is her time. Next up is 152 from Cesar. Wow. So, so Kira still holding up. 
She kept, Kira's, a, Kira's a little ninja today. I can Isn't see she? her over there being uh, interviewed. Vosvin Zion are in. They're currently in 16th position. They're getting quite high. Oh, they've just got a burst. Mix circles. They do a layout to transition into the next snake. So between pages, if the snake begins with a head down snake, uh, the teams will do a bottom loop to lead them into the second page. If the page starts with a head up snake, they will do a layout. Right. It looks like one of the flyers has gone quite high. This is great teamwork though, teams waiting for each other. That is something we've seen with a lot of teams. Waiting for each other, supporting each other. The atmosphere here is great. It is a, an incredibly supportive atmosphere and that is something I love about coming to these competitions. 128 to beat, Emma. One sixteen, one seventeen. Just waiting, no, again. waiting for each other. Again, to get out of the door. One thirty-three. Looks like there was a little bit of confusion there at the end. If right. you just joined us on the live feed worldwide, this is the final day. We've got the four-way done in the open and in the female, and we're getting into now the solo speeds and the dynamic and all the rest of it with me and Emma. Next up, we have got Skydive Botrop. They are currently in 15th position. So we're just waiting for the tunnel to be ready always stressful coming back into day two and starting off that first round those nerves come back and skydive botrop are in the tunnel starting with a head up in face snake looking very synchronized here but i think they turned the wrong way on the classic so they can turn either way, but they both must turn the same way. You think one of them went a different way? I think one of them must have, I don't know, might have been nerves, but I think one of them's gone the other way to what they would have planned, because they will have planned this, planned yeah. which direction to turn when they are walking this, practicing the dive. Head up, in face, snake. Classic, so they come up. They must have both turned the same way that time. So mistake from earlier has been rectified, but still left them with a bust. And starting their next page, head up in face snake, looking really nice, head up, oh, little, little ping up, going up a bit high, and they've got another bust there. And as we said yesterday, once you've seen those lights showing that you've got a bust, it is so hard to keep your composure. I'm willing them on now. And Skydive Botrop just need to get themselves out of the tunnel. The clock stops when the second flyer exits the tunnel. Really well done, Skydive Botrop. I think they'll be a little bit disappointed with those busts. But it's the first round of day two. It is, it's Nerves all kick for. in again. We need to get them warmed up for the rest of the competition throughout the day. Right, up next, currently in 14th position, we've got Fly Spot Elementals. And I saw these boys at the uh, Polish competition. Yep. And I think they were, they were being instructors there and they're looking a lot more relaxed at this competition. Perhaps it's not the pressure of home tunnel. I think they were doing a bit of work as well, weren't they? They were, they yeah. were. A nice, a nice head up snake here, very synchronized oh, and I think they bust through the ring for the classic. Reverse mix circles. Starting their second page, head up. 
And as we said yesterday, head up snakes can be often be slower. So often, the more head up elements there are, the slower the time will be. Oh, I could see one of their heads just bust through the ring, leaving them with two busts now. It looks like they're flying a little bit slower, maybe become more cautious after having two busts, which is not a bad thing. Classic, they need to go under the ring, that is where they bust before. Out face. Transition again. And they're going to get out of the tunnel. Second flyer is out with the two bus. That leaves them with a time of 1.42. So still 1.28 for the, uh, the girls from Belgium. It's looking good. Yes. Right, next up we have got Vosvind from Norway. And they're in. Anna in that awesome suit again. Looking really nice head up, these guys. Going over for the classic, looks like good teamwork. They need to make sure they wait for each other. And we've got a bust there. I didn't see what that bust was for. Mix circles and a layout takes us back to the next page. Head up in face snake again. Next up will be the classic. Now these guys are looking smoother than they were yesterday actually. Perhaps a little bit more cautious. They got a few busts yesterday. They're looking good, Regan. They are, they're, uh, they're pushing hard. 118 is the target looking for, 128, sorry. 128 is what and we're looking for. they've just passed the one minute mark. Let's see what they can do. Classic. Said, oh, and I think Anna just turned the wrong way. The classic. Leaving them with another bust. Uh, they're going to stall this back, head up, and they can exit the tunnel. Oh, that was a quick one, one thirty. But then they had the busts added on, so one thirty-nine was their final time. Shame, shame they have that little uh, bus there. So still looking good from the girls from Belgium. Yes. Wow, I an know. intense start. We've had one round of solo speed. That's gone. It We're was moving down through this two-way stuff now. Wow. So next up. After a short break, we're going to have Winderbone and Locomotion who are currently in 12th place. Now we like these guys. We interviewed them yesterday. They we did. made us smile. Yeah. And did you um, have a good evening last night? Did you go straight home or were you out I and about? I did. I, I had a couple of beers at the tunnel and then I went home. I was exhausted yeah. and I went to bed. Long day, wasn't it? It was a long day, but it was a really good fun day. Yeah. We'll be getting Leslie Gale in the studio very shortly. I'll be having a, a few minutes break. But in the meantime, the action continues with... The two-way dynamic. We're going into the battles, aren't we? This is what we've got now. We are quarterfinals. 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 So we're looking at where um, teams are ranked, and they're going to perform a speed round and a free round. Yeah. So we're currently moving through the speed rounds. We're going to get up to the team which are in ninth position, which is Gravity Bahrain. Yes. We're then going to have a very short break. And then Airspace Dynamite, who are in 17th position, are going to come back and join us and they will be performing their free routine again. Yeah. We do like seeing those free routines with music. We do, it's gorgeous. It's very exciting. So each of these teams, we're not going to see the teams that are positioned higher at the moment. Uh, we're just going to find out where these teams are going to be positioned. Uh, from their speed rounds and from their free routine. We do love it when it gets down to the uh, 
Down to the battles, don't we? We do. Sounds like we've got uh, one minute until we get going. I can see Winderbone and Locomotion in oh, the chamber wow. ready to go. I'm excited to see these boys fly. It's all live action. It's a finals day, this two day event. It feels like it started a week ago, but it was only I know, it really yesterday does. morning. I'm going to leave you with Emma. Leslie's going to join us in the studio. I'm going to have a little break and grab a bite to eat. Enjoy we've your break, weekend. All this action is just so intense. It really is. And as soon as we know the results from the four way open and the four way female, we'll get that to you as well. In the meantime, I can tell you, still leading on the solo speed is Kira. Yes, Kira Poe, still leading. We've got some other incredibly fast flyers, but we're going to find out more. I think the next round, we have got. After we've got the two-way dynamic speed yeah. and then the free rounds, we've got solo speed uh, round six coming up. And just to let you know, solo speed round six is going to be head up in face snake, head up 360 and then head down shuffler. And winter boner locomotion are in the tunnel. Looking good, head up. Head up can often make these speed rounds slightly slower. Mix circles. We've got to do head up out face there. As it is a head up snake, they do a layout to lead them into page two. They will also do that at the end of page two to lead them into page three. Nice classic, both turning the same way. They both need to make sure they turn the same way head up as well. Followed by mix circles. One flyer going a little bit high there. Right, with one burst, wind bone and locomotion are looking good. They're going to get out of the tunnel. Second flyer out, giving them a time with their burst of 127. Right, the next team up who are currently in 11th position, they had they had an excellent end to the day yesterday. It's Madrid Fly Cowabunga. Great name. These boys are looking ready today. Looking fast in head up. Oh, and they've burst. I think that bust looks like it's thrown them off a little bit. But a good recovery into classic. A 180 turn at the top. And they have bust through that ring, I think. Lovely body positions, but a little bit of a mix up there. Good, fast head up snake. So these flyers fly beautifully in head up. And then a great free routine yesterday. Unfortunately, two busts now. Uh, one flyer looks to have got a little bit ahead of the other, but that's okay. And different teams work in different ways. Back to that head up in face snake, flying quite short, tight lines. Classic. Mixed circles, one flyer again, bit ahead of the other. Okay, over, they stall back cross that final line and out of the door. They've got two busts, taking them to one minute 36. So looking like our fastest team so far, not really a surprise is Airspace Dynamite, who are positioned 17th at the moment because they had a bit of a, well, they had a bit of a disaster round yesterday, disaster speed rounds where they ended up getting penalized pretty heavily. Uh, and currently in the tunnel, we have got Windor Kids. And joining me is Leslie Gale. 
She's come to take over while Regan's having a little break. And Leslie's watching the two-way dynamic. I'm loving it, Emma. She is. She's, we had a bit of a conversation about it yesterday. I was basically saying that I love belly flying, I love four-way, I love eight-way, but I don't think it's that interesting to watch unless you're a bit of a, a geek. Like <laughs> a, bit me, a, a bit of a belly geek. Yeah, but, but the this dynamic stuff, is really, really exciting. There is so much to it. There's speed, there's creativity. The window kids are storming it. They're looking fast, they're looking clean. Mix circle's going a little bit high. Wow, Window must be pretty proud of this team today. Nice head up snakes. Great teamwork as well. Waiting for each other. You need to always know where your, where your teammate is. I guess that stops you running into them as well. It does as well. That's handy for not colliding with your teammates. I mean, that must get really busy when you have four people in there. Sometimes you've four got them making... Four-way. It's incredibly disorientating. Incredibly sorry. So, oh, now, ah, with a great score of 126. A clean round from the Windor kids. Is that one of the fastest times of the round? Uh, that, that is. In fact, that is the time. fastest time. How exciting. Wow. Second last uh, team to go. So teams have been ranked and then their scores yesterday have been uh, reset. So we're now looking at who the fastest teams are. It looks like our scores. How do you mean the scores have been reset? Emma? So the scores from yesterday, we've got uh, in the tunnel, we have got Gravity Bar Rain. Currently, in, currently in ninth position. It's Garth's first position. So yesterday, each of the teams flew. They flew their speed rounds and they flew their free routine. Uh, and that has ranked them now. So they've now been ranked in a position, Leslie. Oh, we've got one bust for Gravity Bahrain. But then those scores are wiped clean once they have been positioned. So we're currently watching 17th to 9th position. Uh, we're going to see a speed round from them, a free round. Uh, and then we're going to decide on final positions. I understand now you mean they're going into the head-to-head -head battles. They are going into head-to-head -head battles. And that yesterday's fight was all about who they meet in their head-to-head -head battle. It was. It takes me a while to catch up, Emma, but I'm awake now. Oh, well, they've got one bus there. Looks like there's a bit of confusion with the uh, mixed circles. They had a fantastic free routine yesterday. What they did you really think? did. I thought it was absolutely beautiful to watch with the music. And so just different you know that's what you get is flyers all around the world being creative in tunnels and then you get a meet like this and you see what the, what they're all made up to do we do oh gravity bahrain have got a third bust i love the way that these guys work together it's ben and garth garth's first competition he's got a great mentor in ben they are out it gives them a time of 144 but a good round Beautiful flying from Gravity Bahrain. We're going to see the ranking now. It looks like Winderbone and Locomotion have gone fastest on this. And we've got Leslie Gale joining us here in the studio. Right. Leslie, did you watch the free routines yesterday? The yes, two -way I dynamic? absolutely loved them. Absolutely loved it. I thought the music added another dimension, a wow factor for the crowd. It really did. Some of the teams, they had some music that was really gets the crowd going, you know, did. and the clapping like an ice skating or they something did. like that. I thought I particularly loved the choice of music from the Windor teams. They had some incredible music. Some of the teams starting inside the tunnel, some of them starting outside the tunnel. Yeah, Katty and Dommy, wind or women, love their oh, music more than a woman. And the way they started emotional. in the tunnel, on the net, with a cuddle, got up the dead <laughs> flying and went, went back down. They did. They ended and they ended their routine uh, sort of in a cuddle position yes. on the net. It was, it was truly beautiful. Um, there was another team who started, um, well, lots of the teams started with one flyer inside the tunnel, one flyer outside of the tunnel. Some both came into the tunnel. I cannot wait to see those again. Now I can see that Airspace Dynamite are in the tunnel. They're getting ready to go. Um, we've got their free routine. Did you see their free routine yesterday? Yes, absolutely loved it. A 